Alright, so now that I look like a complete crackhead baby, I thought I would do a fun look today. Do the Laurie Harvey look. Honestly, I love Laurie Harvey. If you never heard of her, please get off that rock that you're on because she's like awesome. Anyway, I wanted to start off with everything that I do. Normally, I would start with my eyebrows already on. I would also start with my... Um, um, brows already on as well. I mean, yeah, brows, skincare, primer, all that stuff because it takes up a lot of time. But Lori Harvey face is mainly about skin. Everything is just skin, skin, skin. So it would defeat the purpose. This video would be like two seconds. I mean, not like that's a bad thing. All right, for moisturizer today, I'm using the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. And I like this stuff because in all honesty, it makes my skin look and feel amazing when I put it on. Alright, for eye cream, I'm going to be using the Tatcha as well. This is a Silk Peony. And I am just going to put this here. I am going to put a little bit of that underneath my underwear. Okay, let's just use my finger because... Yeah, that's a little annoying. Okay, that was a little, just a little bit too little. I'm not gonna put on primer just yet until I do my brows because I need them I need to glue them up a little bit first and then they can they can dry like in between the glue if that makes sense I'm gonna be using the brow freeze and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills if in here has an echo it's because this room doesn't have much in it and yeah I apologize Now, because Laurie looks like she doesn't have a single pore in her face, I'm going to be using the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless. Oh, it dropped. Okay, great. And her, even though our skin is dewy, I feel like this gives off a more matte finish. We're going to incorporate more like dewy products in the look in order to give us like that Laurie Harvey dewy skin. Because you could tell that her skin that she has like probably like oily skin or... She just likes her skin to look naturally dewy. Whichever one it is, we're gonna go for that look today. And I'm gonna start on the... Doesn't matter where you start. <laughs> this is where I'm starting. I'm starting on the inner part of my face. Moving on. I am going to do fill in my brows. I use the foolproof brow. You can, and I'm also gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna outline my brow with this and then um, fill in my brows with the powder. So I'm not gonna be here long doing this because her brows are just like naturally on. Or like she, you can tell that she doesn't do a lot of work with her brows. And this is just to outline them. We're gonna start with the. Alright, let's clip you because you're annoying. Okay, great. Okay, great. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter powder and start bringing it to the, uh, the, the beginning of the brow. I honestly forgot what I was saying just now. I was like, the what? The beginning. I am going to take this highlight here that she has right here. And she has like a little bit of highlight up top here. I don't know. Like, people don't really do that anymore, but it looks good on her. So, I'm gonna do it today. Looks really good on her. And I'm using the same brush that I used to apply my highlighter. And it has like a little bit of concealer on it, so that's fine. Please ignore the state of my foundation. This is still all day volume, all day balloon, like all day luminous weightless foundation. Wow. I was trying to read what I wanted to read, on all honesty. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I mean, what's new? Is there a better concealer? Let me know. So it was at this point where my mic started making this weird, weird noise where it was like staticky and shocky and whatnot. It sounded really bad, so I didn't want to put you guys through that. It was like, it sounded a little bit like this. Yeah, so that is why I am currently doing a voiceover. I'm super pissed because I filmed the whole video thinking that I'm going to be talking throughout the whole video. But anyway, here we go. I'm using a little bit of medium powder from MAC to highlight my face. This is a mineralized powder. I use this because Laurie's skin is really, really dewy. I make sure I bring this down to my neck as well. And I'm using this double-sided brush that's a little bit more fluffy to make sure that it's all even. I'm also using this Fenty um, bronzing powder. I prefer to bronze and not contour because I think... I'm not sure, but I think Laurie's face is definitely just bronzed. Her skin doesn't look like she has a lot going on. So I just use a little bit of bronzer. I put it on, you know, the cheek area, make that C or a three or whatever. I just made a C. I didn't make a three because my hair was covering like most the top part of my forehead and whatnot. So yeah, I was just trying to be skinny mini, but Lori wasn't allowing that because I didn't get to contour. And then I'm taking a little bit of NC45. This is a um, Studio Fix powder. And it has foundation and powder in one. It's a foundation and powder in one. So I just put that under my eyes because under her eyes are like really, really bright. Like all the time. So I wanted my eyes to be really bright as well. Y'all know that I got that um, dark circle thing going on. So I can't really not have my under my eyes bright, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is why I'm doing that and I'm setting that in place and I'm just going to leave that there. Then I am going to use some eyeshadow. This is by Jaclyn Hill. Please ignore the state of my palette. I use this a lot. I use the black eyeshadow on my hair. I use every eyeshadow in this palette. It's super convenient. So I'm just taking this brown and I'm going to put this in the, like the depths of the inner part of my eye. If that makes sense. Just follow... All the directions as you can see there I'm not putting that on the lid I'm not putting on the outer lid either I'm just putting it on the inner part of the lid and that is how the image that I'm following that's how it looks it has like this brown in the inner so I'm doing that to both of my eyes obviously Can't just do one eye and then I'm gonna take this fiery eyeshadow from MAC it's called fiery fiery or something like that it's pronounced with it's the same pronunciation, but spelled differently. So I don't even know why I told you that. I didn't even, don't even know why I said that just now. Anyway, moving on. I'm just using that eyeshadow to put on the um, center of my eyes. And I like this eyeshadow because her eyes are normally like that bronzy color. She definitely doesn't do much with her eyes. I'm taking the same eyeshadow that I used prior, the brown one. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit, make it look more like transition, transitional. I don't know why I'm forgetting the terms. Like I normally used to know these terms like transition and blending and blah, blah, blah. And now I don't even know them anymore. So I'm using this fluffy brush from Morphe. This is my favorite brush. I love this brush so much. I use it all the time for everything because normally nowadays I'm only using like one eyeshadow on my eye. And this cover more grounds because it's so big. It's supposedly supposed to be a highlight brush, but I feel like it's not big enough for highlights. So I started using it for eyeshadow. Anyway, moving on. And that is what I use to just blend out. And I'm taking the same brush on whatever product is left on the brush. I'm using it on the outer part of my lid as well. I'm not taking any more product. I'm just blending that all out so that it can look more smooth. Taking the same eyeshadow that I use on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to use that as my um, bottom lash line and just blend that out. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit as well because it looks like she does that. Like she brings it down a little bit. Mascara. And I'm putting on lashes even though Lori doesn't look like she wear a lot of lashes. Her eyes normally looks like really natural. And I think that even when she wears lashes, her eyes, she does like that natural lashes. So I'm going to use the Ardell. 700 the wispy ones those really look natural so i decided i want to put those ones on today 
she wears a lot of blush. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the trio. And I'm going to mix the, like, the middle one with the more corally ones. I'm doing like a plum with the more coral. I'm mixing those two together to get more of that color that she has on her cheeks like all the time. I don't know that blush, but I'm definitely like in search of whatever blush that is she uses because it is amazing. It always makes her look like she's blushing from within. It's, it's definitely natural. Like if I didn't look up close, I would have never thought that she was actually wearing blush. I'm going to take this highlight. This is Oh Darling from MAC. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking this on the high points of my cheek, just on the, just the highest point of my cheek and I'm bringing that into my brow because that's how she, it, it looks like she does that. I guess when she does her own face, she does it that way. She just takes whatever is left and she brings it like into her brow. It's really pretty. Setting my face. Um, I forgot the name of this setting spray. I think this is by... I don't know why you uh, I don't know but <laughs> it gives off more of like a dewy effect I think I'm not sure if it's tart and I'm also using this um setting spray as well I'll have both of those linked down below for you guys because I can't remember the name of them and I'm just going to like fan that in because one gives one of the mists gives a more dewy effect because her skin is more dewy and the next one just kind of sets it in place for the rest of the day I'm using cork. This is a liner from MAC and I'm just lining my lips. I go full in on lining my lips because Lori Harvey lips is like really like way smaller than mine. My lips are like a hundred times bigger than hers. So I just kind of fill my lips in a lot with this lip pencil. And then I use a little bit of the YSL number 24 Rouge, La Rouge. Um, lipstick just on the inner to give me more of her lip color because she has like really pretty pink lips and my lips are like a lot darker so I put a little bit of that in my inner lips and then I'm also going to take Fenty Beauty it's like this um high shine gloss lip gloss and I am going to put that wherever I put the um YSL Rouge lipstick to curl the hair, I kept it pretty simple. I'm just, right now, I'm just combing out the previous curls that I had in my hair. And they were pretty Lori Harvey-esque prior. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys what I do. I take a little piece of hair just in front of my head. I start off in front of my head. Take a little piece of hair. I take my curl and iron, of course. Make sure that it's hot. It's on the hottest. Um, careful that with, if it's this, if this is your own hair, be very careful because this can burn your own hair, but I don't want to leave, so I don't really care. So what I'm doing is just curling away from my face. And for some reason, I normally, when I first started on this, feel the curl and make sure that it's hot enough. And I just pull down. So I curl it like I'm curling it. And then to tighten the curl, I just pull down. Does that make sense? So you curl again like you're doing like a regular like curl and then I just pull all the way down and it keeps it tight just like this. So now I'm doing the same thing again but this time I'm actually going to feel the curl to make sure that it's hot. So what I'm doing is I'm just curling it as if you're curling your hair but I'm curling it away from my face as you guys can see and I'm just pulling down. So I feel it make sure that it's hot because it's like double curled. If that makes sense, like I curled it around twice. Feel it, make sure that it's hot and that I pull down. Do the same thing again, feel it. Make sure that it's hot. And then I pull down. And it's just that simple. I do that throughout the entire head, my entire head, to give me that Lori Harvey type of hair. So when I'm done doing that, I just take this Tresemme. This is just a hairspray. I think this like has the hold of like four. And this holds my hair all day in place, keeps it nice. It's not crispy either. So it holds the curl so that I, it's not like I, I have to keep curling my hair throughout the day. And then I use this oil. I normally use this on natural hair. But if you're using this on relaxed hair or if your hair is straight, do not use a lot of this product. This is like this cocoa butter hair oil. And it's perfect for natural hair, but if you have regular hair, you're going to have to wash your hair because if you put too much of this product in your hair, it will mess up your hair. 
So definitely do not use too much of that. And then I just use that throughout the curls and then I started to rig the curls out with my finger. And it gives me that Lori Harvey curly hair. I try recreating four of her looks here. I started off with something simple. She has on like this blazer. You can do whichever color you like. I think like a pink blazer with like some jeans and strappy heels would be so cute, but I didn't have any pink blazer and I didn't have a blue one either. So I use this kind of like, um, whichever blazer you have, you can use. I pair it with the jeans the same way she did and just kind of rolled them up. And I didn't have like, like strappy heels like that, but I did have these strappy, um, Bottegas that I really like wearing and they're super comfortable. So, and I used like a tank top and I just kind of rolled it under to get that kind of look that she has. These jeans are from Forever, no, yeah, from Fashion Nova, and the blazer is from Amazon, so is the tank top, and of course, like I said, the shoes are Bottega, and I really enjoy this look. I would totally wear this. The next one is another classic look of hers, but this time, she doesn't have anything underneath her blazer. She just has, like, a blazer on with jeans. I feel like that's my kind of style, the same way she, with her. But the strappy heels that she has on are nude. She has on some nude strappy heels, so I decided to pair, like, a nude um, tight blazer with it. And she has on ripped jeans. I was going to put on some ripped jeans, to be honest, but my ripped jeans did not have, like, that ball underneath like that, so I didn't do it. This here is one of my favorite looks from Lori. Like the blazer, the crop top shirt, and the faux leather pants. Like I told you guys in my last video that I did the faux leather pants and I was trying to find a look like how am I going to wear this? But I didn't know what to do. So the fact that I saw this, I was like, damn it. This is the look, you guys. I love this so much. I can see myself day, night. It doesn't matter. I would rock this look anytime. And the last one is my ultimate favorite. Like, I love a casual look any day, anytime, anywhere. She just has on some sneakers. I paired mine with Jordan with the Nike um, leggings and this white fox sweater, which I have ordered in like every single color. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you think of this video down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much for watching. Have a great day.